Alright, we're going to do the very famous Marilyn Monroe. Let's get her eye line, her mouth line, and her vertical center line. Let's start with the nose. And if you haven't been watching any of the episodes, the reason I start with the nose is because it's closer to the center of the face. It just makes it easier because then you could gauge where to put everything else. Lips. But you could do it in any order you want. Start an eye. I took this picture from Wikipedia and it says that it's public domain. And this is one thing that's important if you're an artist is uh, you gotta be careful about the legalities of things. So if anything's in public domain, it's safe. And of course, if you actually paid a model, or if you have an agreement with a the model, then it's also safe. But if you don't own something, you could get in trouble when you make a profit. If you're not making a profit, then it doesn't matter. But if you're making a profit, and don't quote me on that because I'm not a lawyer, I'm just an artist, but I'm pretty sure that's how it works. But when you start making money, you got to be really careful about what you're doing. All right. Now let's get it. Do this one really light. And the reason for that is because we're not gonna really have it show up. So. There. You see what I mean? This this line right there, we're not really having show up that much. The face is the easy part. <laughs> it's the hair. It takes a while. Whoops, it really comes up like this. Marilyn Monroe had really cool hair. And I think now we could start Erasing some of these guidelines. We got the gist of where we want to be. And you see how I darken the inside here? It kind of makes the... It's a little optical illusion. It makes the whites of her eyes darker let's add some shadow here lots of ways to shadow sometimes you could just uh add some lines for shadow
And I'm doing a combination of that and hashing. Blend with my fingers. And actually, her face is a little bit more in like this. Okay, and erase this line. Now let's bring in the 4B. 4B is darker. The reason for that is let's make a little bit more depth, make her eyes really stand out with the 4B. Love graphite. So much you could do with graphite. You notice how bringing a lot of attention to her eyes. That's uh, one thing. The a hot tip for a woman is bring attention to your eyes and your lips. Those are the two sexiest parts of the woman's body face and then okay let's add a little bit of shadow here but not too much you don't want to bring too much attention to the nose lips definitely Very soft smile here. Not a big smile, a very soft, subtle. That's what I'm looking for, subtle smile. Okay. Very light there. cheeks. Let's get some shadowing in there. Okay, so now hair, very important. I'm going to switch the 4B because Marilyn's really known for her hair, so we got to darken it. A curl here so I'm going for some lead hairs really emphasizing certain hairs you see like this curl right there we really want to emphasize that curl okay and there's some dark in there we just fill this in and I like this one right here. See this one? Kind of this. Almost looks like a question mark. It's funny, I just saw the latest Batman. 
and the bad guy was the Riddler. So it just made me think of the Riddler. I like that Batman. I thought that was really good Batman. Second time seeing it. We saw it in the theater too. You see how I have this line there? I don't even know if you could see it here, but uh, it's there. And the reason it's there is it's a guideline for me not to be seen by everyone else. It's for me. So that's I put it in very light. She's got curls here. Dark. Let's... Uh, Make sure she has an ear here, so people know she has an ear. She has two, but you only see one, obviously, because it's on this side of the face. Let's add some hairs in here. And these ones go like this. Okay. And you see this? Let's really get that in there. It's funny because just by the time, I barely spent any time on her face. It's mainly her hair which is taking the time. And like I've said many times, that we're not going for photorealism, we're going for speed. So the whole purpose of this exercise is speed. You're, you got people who want to be drawn, and there's a line of them. So you got to get your work done. You got to get the line moving. And we're getting close. But the more time you spend on it, the more realistic you can make it. And the reason I switched to the 4B graphite, and the graphite pencils, the 4B, the 6B, I'm only using the regular number two pencil and a 4B this time. But the reason I switched them, the first few episodes were number two pencil only, is because you couldn't really see the number two pencil as well in the video. So. I decided since this is video format, we got to make sure that you can actually see what we're doing. And these eyelashes are down, these ones are up, which is great. It's kind of a neat look. Let's add some here. Let's uh, add a little bit more shadow in here. All right, we're almost done. Let's uh, soften our chin a little bit. What a beautiful woman. Such a shame. Her life ended as it did. And Joe DiMaggio was madly in love with her. It's kind of sad. No disrespect to Hugh Hefner, but Hugh Hefner bought the grave right by her, so Hugh Hefner is buried by her instead of Joe DiMaggio. And I know Marilyn Monroe made Hugh Hefner famous, but I'm a hopeless romantic. And Joe DiMaggio was the one who was madly in love with her. They were trying to get back together when she was murdered. I do not believe it's a suicide. And that you could quote me on. Sure, you could say, oh yeah, Roman just a conspiracy theorist, but I will stand by that because of the different varying reports I've read. There we go, done. Thank you for subscribing.